Hi folks, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get a bookkeeping certification. Now, the reason why I'm using air quotes is because bookkeeping is not a regulated profession in the United States, which means that there's no national or state entity that regulates and does quality control in any of these certifications available for people that wanna practice as a bookkeeper. Therefore, you must get a certification from an institution or a private entity. Now, this video is accompanied by an article I have on my website. I'll put link to the article in the description below where I have all the links to all the different certifications I will be discussing. And I explain with great length the specific one that I recommend, which is the Intuit Certified Bookkeeping Professional. And I will explain why specifically I'm recommending that one. But before I deep dive into it, I wanna discuss these other four that are the competitors, or let's say the top five contenders into the group. Let's start with AIPB Certified Bookkeeper. What's interesting about AIPB, and if you go to AIPB.org, you will find all the information you need to know about the Certified Bookkeeper, is that they actually own the trademark on certified bookkeeper. So no one else can use the terms certified bookkeeper just like that within this context because they own that trademark and they actually go after people that end up using certified bookkeeper that are not members of the AIPB or have not received the credential from the AIPB. Now, they are the oldest one in the group. I think, I believe that they've been doing this for over 20 years. So they're gonna have the most amount of traction in the marketplace. Now, I suspect that the average small business owner that will hire a bookkeeper, either as a full-time employee or a freelancer or a professional service, they've never heard of the AIPB and that's kind of irrelevant at the end of the day who gives you the certification, what matters is, is the certification going to be relevant? Will it teach you what you need? And will it make sure that you know what you're doing? Now, if you go to the AIPB uh, website and you can actually download a 15-page booklet, it's a PDF uh, document, and the PDF document uh, in one of the pages, it tells you how much it costs to take the exam. So according to the document I downloaded, it costs $200 to take the exam. It's a four-part exam, and it also costs between $25 and $60 to register to take the exam. So it will cost you, again, around $250 to become certified with them. However, I went through that certification process probably say about 10 years ago, and you do need to get their books in order to be able to pass the exam. They do sell a set of books for between 250 and 300 and something dollars, depending on whether you're a member or not. And it's a set of six books. The books are good. I will tell you, I like the books when I receive them, but this is all self-study. Now, you can actually go to a local college and take a course designed to help you prepare for this exam. And it's usually around $2,000. Now, this is not in, I mean, it's run by a college, and most colleges have this course, but it's part of their online program. So this is all self-paced. You would literally pay $2,000 for a self-paced program. Uh, and I believe that comes with the books. I don't remember 100% sure if that does, but you know, don't, don't quote me on that. And once you go through that uh, whole process, which is approximately uh, six months or 140 hours worth of uh, course hours, then you'll be, you have enough knowledge to go take the exam and pass it. So that's the AIPB. Again, they're the oldest ones out there. They're probably the ones that have the most amount of traction, but it's second on my list, as you can see from my article, I still recommend into a certified bookkeeping professional, and I'll get back to that and I'll explain why. Let's talk about the third one on the list, which is the DBA, the Certified Digital Bookkeeper. So if you go to dba.org and you click on membership, you will see that in order for you to become a certified digital, digital bookkeeper, you have to become a member of their association. The membership, according to the website and the day I recorded the video, is $500 a year or $2,500 for a lifetime subscription. Now, once you become a member, you'll be eligible to take the CDB certification. It's called Certified Digital Bookkeeper, and you will pay for the exam don't remember what the exam is. I know it's like 10 different exams that it all adds up to like 
$250 as well. So you become a member, you take the exam. The one thing I like about them and sort of dislike about them is that every two years you have to recertify or maintain your certification with continued education. So, so in order to do that, you do have to continue to be a member. I believe they uh, provide all the continued education self-study when you're a member, but you have to renew that certification, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, right? I mean, it's, it's good because it forces you to stay up to date, and it's bad because in order to keep your certification, you got to keep at it. So it's not sort of a one-time thing. So I do recommend the DBA specifically because Ben Robinson, who's a fellow CPA, created it and or his team created it and he's got a great reputation in the marketplace um so i think this one's a great up-and-comer i believe this one's about maybe a year to a year and a half old as of the date i'm creating this video and it is um the most sort of digital one or the one that's most focused on cloud technologies and sort of digital bookkeeping um i believe their certification is more focused around the technology and not so much the accounting aspects. That's where I think the Intuit certified bookkeeping professional and the certified bookkeeper from the AIPB, the first two in the list, those are more focused on the accounting fundamentals. But I haven't gone to the DBA program, so I don't quote me on that. I guess you would have to find that out for yourself. The fourth one on my list is ICB USA, the Institute of Certified Bookkeepers. So if you go to their website, which is right here, icbusa.org, you will see that there are some uh, membership programs. And if you actually click on pricing, you will see that in order to get access to the, the exam, the certification exam, that is $300. Now, it's unclear to me whether or not you have to be an annual member in order to take the exam. I don't know. You would have to find out on your own. And I have not dug into the curriculum but uh, the person that put this together was a good friend of mine. She's got re great re reputation in the marketplace, and she did this like five or six years ago. And I believe that they probably put together a really good curriculum. Plus, the ICB is well known in the UK. This is a British institute that's sort of trying to break ground in the US. So that would be the fourth one in my list. And these are in order that I recommend. I think you should look at them based on this order. Again, that's just my opinion. You can fi uh, find that out on your own. The fifth one on my list is the NAC PB, or Certified Public Bookkeeper. Now, I'm going to go in the website, and um, I will tell you, I'm going to start right now with a general grievance I have about these people. The problem with the term Certified Public Bookkeeper is that it sounds a lot like Certified Public Accountant, which is what I am. Certified Public Accountant, a CPA, it's a regulated license by the state. It not only requires 150 hours of college time, actual college time, you also have to pass a really difficult exam, and it, which is proctored. It's a four-part exam, and each exam is like three and a half to four hours. It's a, it's a difficult undertaking with a pretty big barrier of entry. Now, these people use the term certified public bookkeeper. I don't know if it was to sort of... Uh, confuse the public or take advantage of the brand confusion of certified public, but that's my general grievance around it. Now, I have not gone through it, so I don't want to tell you or judge uh, whether it's good or bad. If you go on their website, you see that they have a whole bunch of different things. Certified payroll specialist, certified QuickBooks advisor, which I'm not 100% sure if that's even legal for them to use that QuickBooks term without permission from Intuit. Uh, certified public bookkeeper, certified accountant, Accounting paraprofessional, CAP, kind of interesting. Certified accounting analyst, certified tax professional. Again, any of these programs that you do that forces you to learn and educate yourself are going to be a net positive. But the concept of this video is, is it worth certification-wise? If you go down here, according to the website, it will cost you between $1,300 and $1,600 to, I guess, get tuition. So I assume they have some sort of course. I don't know if there's videos or if it's self-paced reading material. I don't know, but you can check them out. Uh, NACB, NACPB.org. Again, I am not going to do a strong recommendation on that one, but I am including them in the top five, uh, even though there's a lot of other options out there. And if you do a simple Google search for certified bookkeeping or certified bookkeeper, uh, bookkeeping certification, they are going to come out in those top five. So I wanted to make you aware 
of its, of its existence and my opinion about it. Okay, so I covered those sort of last four in my top five list, and I want to dig deep into the Intuit certified uh, professional bookkeeper. And the reason why I think the Intuit is going to be the one that's worth your while is because Intuit is the maker of QuickBooks. They have great brand recognition with QuickBooks. In A lot of people recognize Intuit because of the QuickBooks brand. And I think that because most small business are using QuickBooks, they're going to associate that Intuit certified professional bookkeeping uh, certification with QuickBooks as well, even though there's a separate QuickBooks certification called the Certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, which is very different than this. The Pro Advisor one is more focused around the product, around QuickBooks, where this one, the Certified Bookkeeping Professional by Intuit, is focused 100% in accounting. Now, if you go into the article I wrote, I do explain all this stuff. I explain and I go a little bit into more detail and I have links to the courses. Now, the Intuit professional certification can be done in two ways. One, you can just take the course. So I'll put a link in the description below so you can go straight into the course. You can just take the course via Coursera.org. Again, I'll put the direct link in there so you're not stumbling around searching for it. You can take the course and just get the certificate of completion from Coursera. After you finish the course and you get your certificate of completion, that's not the certification. The official certification, you actually have to pass an exam. I will put a link to the video where you actually go into uh, Pearson View, which is the sort of the test administrator for Intuit. And you actually have to create an account in there. And then once you create an, an account and you sign in, you will then uh, schedule the exam. You have to schedule uh, the date and the time because it is a proctored exam and you have to pay $149 for it. Now, you will notice in the website that you can either take the exam on site in a certain port testing center um, and then based on your zip code, you can search them and you can physically go take the exam. And because of COVID, you actually have the option of not doing it through a testing center and doing it remote from your home. Now, there's a sort of a couple of steps you have to take and they, they have to log in to your computer and make sure your computer is conditioned for a proctor testing environment. But for most people, it should be a pretty simple process to get uh, to do the test from their home. Now, I want to go back, go back to the course for a second, because if you are experienced, you can skip the course. You don't have to take the course. And you can go straight for the $150 exam. That's what I did. Of course, I'm a CPA. I'm an experienced professional. It wasn't very difficult for me. I didn't have to study at all. I went ahead and took the, the exam and I passed it on the first try. So for people that are experienced, whether they're CPAs or not, if they're ex truly experienced and they understand accounting or they have a basic accounting degree, shouldn't be too difficult to pass that exam. However, if you don't have much experience or you do want the preparation for the exam, you want to sign up for the course. Now, I'm going to show you how you will sign up for the course once you log in to Coursera. You're going to see a link that says enroll for free. Now, when you click on that link of enroll for free, you're going to have to create an account. Once you create an account, you'll be able to click here where it says start free trial. Now, the way Coursera works is they're going to charge you $50 a month after the seven-day trial until you complete the course. Now, for most people, it should be anywhere between one month to four months to complete. According to them, it's a 16-week program. Um, I did the course super fast. It probably took me like a week. But I say someone with a little bit of experience and you know dedicating a lot of time to it should do it in under a month. So it, just, it should just be a four, sort of a $49 uh, a month uh, uh, cost. Now, instead of paying the $49, you have the option to click here where it says Included in Coursera Plus. And the Coursera Plus is $60 a month instead of $50 a month. And it includes access to over 3,000 courses they have in there. So on top of that QuickBooks certification course, which, sorry, the Intuit certified bookkeeping course that is included in there, you're going to see a whole bunch of other things you, you have access to. So those are basically your choices. You either pay $49 just a month just for this course or $59 a month for this course and a whole bunch of other things that are available in Coursera. 
Now I'm gonna log into the course to give you a little bit preview so you can kind of see what that looks like. Let me zoom in a little bit and you will see here that it says enrolled. Now down here, once I'm enrolled into the sort of the certificate program, I'm gonna click here where it says courses and when I click on courses, you're gonna see that there's four courses. Now each course is set up to be four weeks each. That's what I meant by 16 weeks. And you see this, uh, these courses all have pretty high rating. So, you know, you could be comfortable that these are good courses. Once I click on any of these courses, I'll click on the first one, Bookkeeping Basics. You will see, you will see how they're broken down into weeks. So if I click on week one, you will notice that we have all the learning objectives here. And then we have videos, reading material videos, practice quizzes, and this discussion prompt. It's really, really cool about Coursera is that there's actually uh, professors and, 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 uh, and moderators in these discussion forums. So if you click on discussion forum, uh, you can be in whichever week you're in, let's say I'm in week one, and then there are topics of discussion and there's you know, hundreds of replies into any of them. So you can, um, you can uh, you know, participate in these discussions every week if you follow it in a sort of week by week basis. You don't have to go through the discussion forums. You can just completely go into uh, each of the weeks and take all the courses, whether it's gonna be uh, the videos or the, for example, here's, here's a video, whether it's the, the videos or the uh, practice quizzes, whichever, you know, whichever approach you're gonna take, you can, you're gonna have to go through the whole thing. And again, you don't have to wait a week or two to do them. You can just sit there and do the four weeks all in one sitting if you have time for that. And then you're gonna click here where it says grades and you're gonna take the exams. Uh, I believe that every single course has four exams, one per week per se, and you're gonna have to pass those exams all four of them in order for you to quote pass the course okay once you pass the course you're gonna he see here on the messages it's gonna say congratulations you passed the course again rem remember the certification preparation is four courses you have to pass all four of them not just all four exams in one course so it's 16 exams in total pretty much so you're gonna click on view accomplishments and then you're gonna get uh, the little uh, certificate of the course completion Okay, now the certificate of the course completion is not the certification that you're a certified uh, professional bookkeeper. That's just the certificate that you completed the course. Now that might have some value in the marketplace, but it's not the official um, the certification. In the article, as I mentioned earlier, you want to get to the point where you get this badge, that logo. Once you have that logo, when you're fully certified, that's when you can put that in your resume, in your social media, in your business cards, in your website, whatever you want to put it, in order to show off that you are an Intuit certified bookkeeping professional. Now, let me go back to the course again, just to show you one more thing and show you that this is part of an Intuit bookkeeping professional certificate. When you click on that, you're going to notice that there's four courses in total. So you're going to have to go to each of these four courses, bookkeeping basics, assets in accounting, uh, liabilities and equity in accounting, and financial statements. You gotta go through all four courses. There's four quizzes or four exams each in each side, each course. So it's basically 16 weeks, 16 tests in total. Again, you can do it a lot faster than that. You're gonna be able to get a certificate for each of the courses. And once you complete those four courses, that's when you go back into the Pearson View website that we mentioned earlier, and you create the account and you pay 150 bucks to get your official certification. Now, one thing I wanna show you, I'm gonna go back to Coursera for a second. Once you're done with Coursera, if you don't wanna to continue to pay Coursera, you click on your profile, you click on my purchases, and then all you have to do is click on cancel subscription. As long as you finish the course through Coursera and you're gonna, you're gonna pay those monthly fees for as long as you're using it, and you take the exam, you no longer will need Coursera. If you keep Coursera, check it out. They have a ton of uh, all sorts of certificates that are out there. For example, if I search uh, just the word accounting, you will see that there's a course called Introduction to Finance and Accounting. That's a really great companion course. Um, it's included with that $60 plus subscription. So this is one I would recommend that you do because it is from the Wharton uh, University of Pennsylvania School, which has got great reputation. So getting a certificate that you finish a course from Wharton should have 
some value in the marketplace. So anyway, I hope that was useful for you. If you, again, if you have no certifications, but you know what you're doing, you probably don't need them. If you have no issues getting a job, if you have no issues getting clients, you don't need it. However, if you do need that batch or that confidence boost and you need a structured way to learn accounting, I love that Intuit certification course, again, because it's tightly linked to Intuit QuickBooks, which has great branding in the marketplace. And then once you become a certified uh, professional bookkeeper through uh, this Intuit certification, you should also look into the QuickBooks Pro Advisor cert Certificate. Um, and those two in combination are really, really important. Now, how do you become a Pro Advisor? Basically, just search the word Pro Advisor in Google, and it should be one of the first things that you find called uh, in the into a website. Once you go in there, it kind of looks like this. It's uh, QuickBooks for Accounting Professionals. That's where you can become a Pro Advisor, and you can click on sign up for free. As of the date of this video, the Pro Advisor program for QuickBooks Online, the product QuickBooks Online, it's free. So you can prove that you know how to use the product through the Pro Advisor program, and then you can prove that you are a professional bookkeeper through the Intuit certificate. So those two would be my recommendation. Again, I discuss all these things in the article I mentioned earlier, links to everything I mentioned and links to the article and all the other websites are in the description. Check them out. And I hope that I taught you the path to become a uh, certified bookkeeper of some sorts. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.